With the meniscus injury and surgery for Minnesota Fighting Vikings tight end Irv Smith Jr. completely coming out of left field, the Vikings tight end room is suddenly in a bit of flux. And yes, they could explore trade options and free agency, and they certainly should, but it also means it's a massive opportunity for fourth-year tight end Tyler Gronklin, a.k.a. Conklin, I guess. Go ahead. Uh, as he looks to be the Vikings tight end one to start the season. And Zimmer even hyped up Gronklin's role in the offseason after Rudy's departure uh, about it being huge huge for him and not so much Irv. Lies, lies. Mm. And even if the Vikings do trade or sign a new tight end, even if it's Ertz or OJ Howard or David Njoku, uh, it's going to be Gronklin's show at least to begin as they still learn the offense. So let's talk about uh, the pride of Central Michigan today. Gronklin, 26 years young, Six foot three, two fifty four, was a twenty eighteen fifth round pick, number one fifty seven overall out of Central Michigan. Was a beast his junior season, twenty sixteen, forty two catches, five hundred sixty yards, receiving six tutties. Dealt with injuries, only played in eight games as a senior, thirty five, five of four and five. Uh, his pre draft testing was really interesting because he's short and light for a tight end, slowish four eight forty, but extremely agile and hostile and mobile and whatever in the shuttles and very explosive in the jumps, almost like he's a former college college basketball player which he is in 2020, he posted a career-high 19 catches, a buck 94, and a touchdown on 26 targets, including moving the chains 11 times. And he did play 449 snaps last season, even with Rudy and Irv in the building, held his own, and the Vikings ran multiple tight end formations the most in the National Football League. And Gronklin's also coming back from a pretty serious hamstring injury that he suffered in training camp two weeks ago on August 16th. Reportedly, the Vikings haven't played him or practiced him out of precaution, so nah, whatever. Uh, but the gap between Gronklin and Brandon Dillon and Zach Davidson and Shane is immense. And since the Vikings don't yet have an established third receiving option, uh, Gronklin certainly could fill that power vacuum to start the year. And even uh, if and when Irv comes back, if Gronklin has already established that he's had four to six really solid games and moving the chains and just being a great middle of the field receiving options, it's going to be really hard to take him off the field. So it's a massive opportunity in a contract year for Tyler Conklin, a.k.a. A Gronklin hopefully grabs that brass ring. Uh, but your thoughts, Gronklin, this season, opportunity. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, that work, pull a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.